Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to find the derivative of the absolute value of the natural log of x solution. So we have f of x and it's equal to the absolute value of the natural log of x. And we want to take the derivative. Obviously this will not be differentiable everywhere, so at the end of the problem we'll talk about the restrictions. So the first thing you want to do is realize that the absolute value of x is equal to the square root of x squared. And in turn, you can write that as x squared to the 1 half, right? Because the square root can be written to the 1 half power. So this becomes the square root of ln x quantity squared. And again, we can write that square root to the 1 half power. So this is parentheses, parentheses, ln x quantity squared, and then parentheses 1 half. So now we can take the derivative and we'll use the chain rule to do that. So f prime of x is equal to, so you can just put the 1 half in the front, so you get 1 half, parentheses, and then ln x, quantity squared, parentheses, then 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half, and now we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, that's the chain rule. So here it's another chain rule, because we have ln x squared. So we'll put the 2 in the front, and we get ln x to the first power times, again, the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of ln x is just 1 over x. So recap. Whenever you have a function with an absolute value, you definitely want to use this formula for trying to find the derivative. So you rewrite the absolute value of whatever as the square root of whatever squared. And then you rewrite the square root to the 1 half power. Take the derivative and use the chain rule as we did here. The 2's cancel. So we have f prime of x equals, so it looks like we have 1 over x ln x. I'm going to put the 1 over x in the front. Up top we have an ln x. Then on the bottom, this piece is going to come down and the exponent will become positive. So it's parentheses, parentheses, ln x squared, and then here it's to the 1 half. We can still rewrite this as 1 over x times ln x. And the bottom piece, that 1 half, turns into a square root again. So it's parentheses ln x quantity squared. And the bottom piece is precisely the absolute value of the natural log of x. Right? So this is 1 over x ln x. And this whole piece here is just the absolute value of the natural log of x. So the derivative of the natural log of x the absolute value of the natural log of x is 1 over x times the natural log of x divided by the absolute value of the natural log of x. So you see there are some restrictions here. So for one, x can't be 0, but that's, that's a restriction on the natural log itself, right? The domain of the natural log is 0 to infinity, not including 0. Uh, but you, you see here the natural log itself can't be equal to 0. So that means that ln x is not equal to 0 in all of this. That would mean that x is not equal to 1 either, right? Because natural log of 1 is 0. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.